I am from Utah. Yeah, I grew up in Price, actually. I went to school at the University of Utah, and that's why I'm pretty uh, excited to fly to fly over. So I started at the U in 2005, right after the incredible 2004 football season where we were undefeated, of course, and then uh, graduated in 2009. So my senior year was that 2008, another incredible season where we were undefeated and beat Alabama in the Sugar Bowl. Uh, so 05 to 09, I studied uh, physics, was a graduate of the uh, physics department, did uh, Air Force ROTC at the Detachment 850, and that's where I got my commission, and that's where I got the pilot slot. So great experience. We never missed a home game, uh, even when we had a lot of uh, a lot of work to do, a lot of school, but uh, uh, we didn't make the away games always, but uh, never missed a home game. So have you done flyovers over the U before? You know, actually, I think I have not, believe it or not. I've done quite a few flyovers, but uh, it just never has quite worked out to go over the U. So, yeah, special day for me and for, uh, for all the rest of us, too. How surreal is this? You went to the U, you used to pack the stadium, probably go to all the games. And now you get to be a part of such a unique and special moment to kind of kick things off and get the season going. Um, what could be another incredible year for the Utes? It's such an honor. Uh, I'm so happy to be able to do this. You know, just like you said, as I, I used to be in the stadium watching the flyovers and, you know, that was my dream to maybe uh, be able to do that someday. And and here we are, of course. Um, I, I love my time at the U. Uh, it's a great school, a uh, huge fan of the football program, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's it's really come full circle. We're, we're all really excited. I think I speak for the rest of the guys in the formation too. We're all uh, really excited for this. So we're planning a four ship of F-35s. Uh, so it'll look uh, at fingertip formation. It'll look somewhat like the pitcher behind me, but it'll be a little bit tighter. Uh, so you have like a lead aircraft and then you have uh, one on the right side, two on the left. Uh, so we'll bring it in tight for the pass. We are going to fly a thousand feet uh, over the uh, stadium and we're gonna fly from south to north. So you'll see us, uh, you know, showing up from uh, from the south and pass over the north, and then we'll have to pop up over the mountains there that are pretty pretty close, as you know, right behind the U. Um, but yeah, just a single pass. We'll just be straight and level, and uh, uh, yeah, hopefully it's a good good show for everybody. We do have a pilot that uh, that went to SUU, and I think he might have even been on the football team uh, for some amount of time, <laughs> which the rest of us were were never uh, on the youth football team. We're just uh, their number one fan, of course. Um, happy to watch from the stands, but uh, yeah. So a couple of Utes, one uh, SUU pilot. Um, it's really special for us. You know, I I've lived in Utah my whole life. Um, it was seeing an air show at Hill Air Force Base that inspired me to to want to pursue being a fighter pilot. Um, and that was you know it's probably been thirty years now. Um, but I really I never lost that. So I, I pursued my dream there, and it all worked out. And I've just been so lucky to get to fly uh, the F thirty five here at Hill. And it's such a crucial um, thing that we're able to have F-35s based here in the local community. Obviously, it has a huge economic impact for the Wasatch Front, but also just for our nation's defense. Uh, there is some airspace out here on the Utah Test and Training Range that is really unique. Um, that you just can't find that pretty much anywhere else in the country or in the world. So it's really important that we keep up uh, you know, good relations with the local community. Uh, again, for my decade or so that I've been here flying jets, the local community has been extremely supportive and that means the world to us. And we want to keep that relationship going. Uh, likewise with the school, the school was extremely supportive of the ROTC units and, uh, you know, students pursuing military careers. And I really love that about the University of Utah. They're so supportive of the military and the, the community in general is so supportive. So, uh, and of course, we have the best football team in the country, go Utes. Uh, and I, I think this is going to be an incredible season. So, yeah, it's uh, all of it's coming together. Uh, we're so happy to provide this flyover. So you get to fly over. Are you going to the game afterwards? Yes, we are going to be at the game. Uh, it'll take us a little bit of time after you see us fly over to go land the jets at Hill Air Force Base and put them away and then drive ourselves down to the stadium. So we'll get there as soon as we can. Uh, hopefully we don't miss too much of the game.